F-Zero is a franchise that's been in limbo for more than a decade now, with 2004's Climax being the most recent release. Hell, he's now been a part of Super Smash Bros. for longer than his own series, having been involved since its inception. Just let that one sink in for a second. Despite my sadness and frustration at the lack of F-Zero content, Captain Falcon is as loved as ever. His appearance is flamboyant and ridiculous, he's got a wicked awesome moveset in Smash Bros, and at big tournaments he's routinely chosen, leading to some crazy fights. Over the years, Falcon's gone from an interesting character that drove at ludicrous speeds to a dude melting faces and the racetrack. So, you know what would be super rad? A Captain Falcon spectacle fighter. And you know who agrees with me? Strex. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Yep. He agrees, I promise. Well, let's start with the basics. It's sort of a no-brainer, but Platinum should be the ones to spearhead a game like this. When you look at the success and quality they've put into their titles, you just know they'd be able to take an idea like this and dash away with it. Exactly. I think they've shown to really embrace the characters or IP upon each title and make it unique while holding onto the strong combat that the genre relies on. From cybernetic ninjas to dazzling diva witches, they've covered the spectrum of colorful characters. More importantly though, they've covered mechanics. Primarily for Captain Falcon, there would be a need to emulate a lot of his moveset from the Smash Bros franchise, where many players know him best. This honestly could easily be worked into the dial combo mechanics seen in Bayonetta. Let's make this easy then. Light attacks translate to basic punches and kicks, and heavy strikes are based on his smash and special attacks. While this is pretty simple, that doesn't mean there isn't any room for something more distinct. For example, I think it'd be nice and flashy if Smash's damage system was incorporated in some way. There's always an awesome amount of hype when you knee a dude in the face or land a spike when an enemy is at high damage, and finding a way to emulate these feelings would bring the excitement to another level. This could rely on combo counts, a staple of the genre. By building a higher combo count, heavy finishers could dish out major damage. How is this balanced? Well, most combos rely on hit counts and these bigger singular hits would provide large damage at the sacrifice of major hit counts. Even further attention could be paid towards how this damage counter is attained, with heavy attacks costing meter a la Metal Gear Rising, racking up more and more upon the hit counter is essential as it fills up the meter, with the heavy attacks doing the opposite. There's always a constant balance between making a player powerful while keeping the skill ceiling high and making a player feel the need to reach that ceiling. Accessibility is a worthy goal, but especially within this genre, a constant need to be better is the ultimate sweet spot. Ranking a player on hits attained and damage dealt allows this feature to be fluid and engaging, instead of ranking purely on a max combo count. With a mechanic that has tangible advantages and disadvantages, you've got yourself a pretty engaging system. At the end of the day, the mechanics are essential to making these types of games the exciting experiences that they are. Having that base in place would set the game up well, providing a platform for players to execute all that absurd, frantic goodness we've come to expect. With that sorted out, it's a matter of incorporating a wacky plotline to not only accentuate the game, but push the adventure into properly bonkers territory. What's so fantastic is the F-Zero franchise is practically set up for this. When you look at the ridiculous characters you race against and their backstories, you just know they could fit into a crazy storyline. Hell, GX's storyline was pretty damn ridiculous at times. Escaping an explosion, participating in the Grand Prix, racing against an even greater villain trying to combine two championship belts to destroy the universe? No, seriously, that happens. And that's only scratching the surface, not to mention the ridiculous supporting cast already in place. Most all the other competitors are silly and muscly, with unique stylings and backstories to explore. Pico? He's some sort of interstellar assassin green alien. He Probably dual wields missile launchers or something. Samurai Goro? I mean, I don't even need to explain that. Dude's a space samurai. That's awesome. Black Shadow? <laughs> Loser with a silly voice. The setting of GX, coupled with the high octane speeds, allows a great excuse for dazzling set pieces, something Smash Bros. has also used to great effect. Fighting on top of rapid vehicles to jumping between spiraling speedways, there's enough ludicrous level design to build a varied and distinct setting. Definitely the home of a campy yet intensely hype experience. Now, I suggest all of this not because I have a lot of experience with this type of game. Rather, my time spent with these games is just about zero. Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising… I have yet to play any of these titles. Yet an idea like this, taking the aspects that define and make this genre rewarding, and pairing it with an exciting, likeable character and universe could bring in those that have never had a taste of what the genre has to offer. I think whatever side of the fence you sit on, it's hard to deny that Captain Falcon is iconic, and could really embody what the genre is all about while subsequently pushing what is amazing about F-Zero in a completely different way. 
Sometimes different interpretations can be exactly what you need to rekindle a fiery franchise like F-Zero. With developers like Platinum pushing the boundaries of what these games can do, it would not only be a way of taking the genre to another level, but giving our old pal Captain Falcon a chance to shine again. Combine his appeal with the unique take on excitement and silliness these games provide, and you'd have a force to be reckoned with.